Well, things are already turning stormy in parts of northern and northwestern Iowa. Already we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect tonight until 10 p.m. for all the counties highlighted in pink. Most of that is north of our local 5 News viewing area, but it does include Pocahontas and parts of Kasuth County as we go into the rest of the evening. We will keep an eye on that. Also includes Humboldt County. Here's what the severe weather outlook looks like. We do have a slight risk for areas along and north of Highway 20 and extreme northern Iowa, a level three out of five. That's an enhanced risk for severe weather. Again, this will be primarily a wind event for those areas. So in northern Iowa, I am expecting a pretty high wind event. We will see some hail, isolated tornado, not out of the question. The good news is this is almost an entirely uh, threat just for northern Iowa. So I think here in central Iowa, we will stay dry and storm free tonight. Now tomorrow, that may be a little bit of a different story. A level two out of five on our threat tracker, mainly in the afternoon afternoon and evening, especially for areas to our south and east. So we will be expecting those storms in southern Iowa by tomorrow evening. So notice all of that stays in northern Iowa tonight, even into southern Minnesota. By early tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., we could be waking up to sunshine, and then clouds will start to roll in by Tuesday afternoon. Isolated showers will begin to spark up, and then we could be looking for showers and storms by 6 p.m., and that will continue through the evening. Notice how most of that stays south and east, which is why that is the greatest area for threats on Tuesday, but we could still be seeing those storms in the metro on Tuesday night, and that could continue through, say, 2 or 3 a.m. on Wednesday. Wednesday morning. So tonight in the Des Moines metro and across central Iowa, we're dry. It'll be windy. It'll be muggy. The storms all stay north with a low falling to 75. Tomorrow things change a little bit. Temperatures will be just a smidge cooler. We will have those afternoon and evening thunderstorms and a high near 86. That is going to usher in a cold front, which will bring some much nicer conditions for Wednesday. We're looking for temperatures on Wednesday morning to be in the 50s. Highs on Wednesday only in the 70s and then things warm back up and we look for a couple rain chances by the end of the week and into the start of our holiday weekend.